So hi, uh, first I introduce myself. My name is Margit Link Rodrigue. I am a technical writer here at Hallo Welt and I am responsible for maintaining our Blue Spice help desks in German and English. Um, I provide user trainings, <clears throat> admin trainings and general user trainings. Uh, I also help with testing and um, I am also usually involved in creating templates for Blue Spice. And as you know, there are different types of templates. And if you have been to some of our summits or talks before, uh, you will have noticed that I usually show up when uh, the topic of templates comes up um, because last time we also uh, had um, introduction of new types of templates uh, in the product. So today, um, the type of templates we're going to be talking about are start page templates. That's something Blue Spice hasn't had before, uh, but that we're going to provide in, in the next minor now coming up. So let me share my screen. So start page templates. Um, as you know, the current situation is in Blue Spice usually that when you get a new uh, Blue Spice installation and you're all excited to get started with your new wiki, that the wiki is fairly empty. So we always start with a pretty much a clean slate installation. Um, and that is on purpose because a lot of our customers and the organizations that use Blue Spice um, have a broad variety of different use cases and um, we want to support them to um, get uh, their wiki up and running as cleanly as possible and not to provide them um, unnecessary pages and files in their wiki that they will never need. So that leaves the content organization uh, for everybody wide open and you can be really creative uh, and uh, design uh, and organize the wiki any way you want. Um, you have no unnecessary clutter and uh, things where you have to figure out, do I need it or don't, uh, do I not need it? Uh, and it's just really nice um, really to uh, have that uh, possibility to make your own wiki. However, with that being said, on the other hand, of course, you also get no very little help getting started <clears throat> with the wiki. Um, you might have uh, had a little bit of insight uh, in uh, what the wiki could look like. You might have had an evaluation wiki or looked at our demo wikis, and um, you probably uh, want to set up your wiki uh, in a similar way. Um, the other drawback also is when you start with an empty wiki, of course, that organize, or organizing your content uh, can take a lot of time, especially if you're new to the wiki world and you're not so familiar um, with um, maybe um, the, the setting up web pages, um, um, creating things in HTML, or uh, you don't know much wiki text yet. So, what to do next when you have a new wiki and you're in that situation. Uh, you feel maybe a little bit stranded at first, but you uh, know you want to get started and you're ready for it. And um, we thought with Blue Spice 4.3, we don't leave you alone and we help you out at least a little bit um, with organizing your content. Um, in the first um, version of um, Blue Spice 4, we already started supporting our users a little bit by um, offering page templates that are installed directly uh, with a new wiki installation. And if you have uh, upgraded to Blue Spice 4 already, you will have noticed that when you create a new page, um, and you also get some of these <clears throat> uh, pre-installed uh, uh, um, page templates as a choice for your users. And uh, if you have used them already, uh, you will know that since they are template based, they are also very easy um, to change. Or if you don't like them at all in your wiki, you can simply delete them. Um, the next thing now that we want to do in Blue Spice 4.3 uh, is to uh, go one step further and also pre provide some start page templates. 
Um, these uh, start page templates uh, should function as portals into related content. Um, so if you have, let's say, your main page uh, of the wiki, um, uh, you need to then figure out uh, what should users see when they come into the wiki first. And um, by default, we have um, a start page, but it is a little bit difficult for users to edit and maintain. Um, also, uh, you, of course, want to support the different uh, audiences and viewpoints of your users um, with different starting points uh, in the wiki. Um, and uh, so you should have a variety of layout options to depending on who comes to the wiki and uh, is looking for certain um, related content that they all get a little bit of a different view um, uh, or starting points into that type of content. You also want to make so sure that users easily see right at a glance uh, what changed in a particular area of the wiki. Um, and for that, you usually have certain lists that you automatically provide. Um, and there are certain mechanisms uh, that support uh, this automatic creation of page lists. And you are probably familiar with them, like uh, SmartList or a DPL extension or uh, in Blue Spice Pro. Uh, the um, tool of choice is usually a semantic media wiki. Uh, also very important is we wanted to provide a little bit of access to the namespaces in Blue Spice. A lot of wikis, of course, uh, separate their content a little bit into in individual namespaces. And um, usually when I have user trainings, uh, people grasp the concept of namespaces pre pretty fast. But then the question is, once you set up a namespace, how do the pages uh, go into it? How do you know what's going on in a namespace? And we really don't have a good mechanism at this point um, to help users out um, to, um, to provide that information to their users. So we think that these start page templates will also be good to be used as the main pages for um, each namespace that you have in your wiki. Um, since these um, main pages or these uh, starting pages are uh, template based, uh, as everything pretty much that doesn't come from our product development team, they can easily be customized in the wiki. Um, of course, um, they then also automatically create a lot of wiki pages and templates in the wiki. As you see, they have a lot of um, types of content there and it must come from somewhere. Um, so this content is a little bit uh, predefined and um, yeah, that adds some uh, automatic content uh, to uh, every 4.3 installation. You see, we have come up with six variations so far of different uh, page templates. We will not install all of them uh, with the product. That would just be uh, too much content. And they're really very closely related. And as you will see uh, later on, um, they are so flexible anyway that if you start with one or two of these templates, uh, you can pretty much make them look like any other template. And you don't really have to install that many uh, different types of page templates. So um, I want to show you a little bit of what those uh, templates out of the box uh, will look like. Uh, one that will be included in uh, version 4.3 is the start page intranet. Um, it has some elements. Um, maybe uh, it's really well suited for the main page of your wiki, maybe, or uh, of course, any starting page of uh, namespace. Um, it uh, includes uh, elements that were already available on our help desk as individual downloads, like at the top, a banner template, and then uh, under it, a image card or icon template. And then what you see below it is simply uh, sections of a wiki page uh, with their headings, and they are simply uh, arranged in a um, column-based layout. Um, then we have a start page team that's also going to be included as the second uh, template. And it is a little uh, bit more pragmatical for internal teams, maybe that just want to share, share their internal information and get organized within the team. And so we started um, showing what that could look like. Of course, these are only suggestions um, to get started. And um, 
then each team uh, will be able to simply swap out the content as needed. Then we also have a start page that's um, not included in the product. All the ones that are not included will be available for download. Uh, so you can install them um, if you want to in your wiki as needed. So um, by going to our help desks. So this um, template for small and medium sized enterprises um, it's also a little bit more formal and it has a more social character. A lot of our customers uh, like to uh, draw their users attention to the wiki by uh, showing a little bit more what's going on in the company, maybe new employees, uh, some news announcements, uh, maybe the uh, generic knowledge base and um, a general employee portal and so on. So we, uh, uh, we made these suggestions uh, also um, to uh, give you some ideas of what to do in your wiki. Then we also have a start page for software development as an example, also again for a team um, based template that is more um, organized around the daily uh, tasks uh, of uh, an individual uh, team. And then for our users who use the wiki as a management system, uh, or you might have some namespaces that focus on quality management uh, documentation, uh, we also uh, set up uh, a little bit of um, a content structure for that. And there we already also uh, suggest <clears throat> to probably put a um, draw you di diagram in there. So you will see when you install that, there will be an empty drawio diagram um, and you can uh, use that as an overview page maybe for management uh, uh, where you want to collect all your uh, quality management uh, information that you uh, create in the wiki. And the last one is for a internal IT help desk. Uh, also just a suggestion uh, if your um, employees uh, need to look for what's going on with internal IT and your internal IT um, doesn't always uh, want to have to uh, answer an email or whatever. There's a little uh, blog function on here and it's really based uh, around announcements and uh, keeping your employees up to date. And then the, some generic information that's typical for internal IT tasks like uh, tasks like um, basic uh, links to how-tos uh, to certain applications that everybody in the company is using and maybe a little bit of, uh, of a timeline for what's coming up uh, related to internal IT. So those are the six uh, ideas we came up with. Um, and of course, uh, as I said, uh, you will see they are very easy to change, um, but should really save you some time, at least uh, setting up pages like that. So I wanna show you then how you would apply uh, and uh, these templates. First, we will see how you can find these templates then uh, in your wiki, uh, how you, in quotes, activate them. Then uh, once you have moved them where you need uh, to work with them, then how to actually edit them. <clears throat> and then if you uh, have had a wiki for a long time and you find your way around wiki text and HTML, um, then it's also very easy to uh, customize them to your needs. So let's take a look at how it's gonna work. Uh, here I have a wiki and what you will do, uh, you will simply uh, look for in the template uh, namespace for a template called start page. And this page uh, will be installed for you and there you will have a link to the documentation, everything you need to know about editing these templates and then a list of available start pages in your wiki. As I said, um, there initially will only be two uh, pages listed for you, the uh, intranet and I think the team start page, yes, <clears throat> and the other ones I have here installed in my wiki. So uh, this is just a query uh, looking for pages, start pages uh, in the help namespace. These, all these start pages will be pre-installed then in the help namespace of your wiki. 
uh, and uh, that's why, where you can find them and look at them. So let's look at this uh, included start page intranet. <clears throat> so uh, you can see it looks like that uh, when uh, you find it and um, we do not include any images or things like that, file uploads. Uh, if you want to use the template like that, uh, you would have to have your own images uploaded in the wiki and then um, put them in these image cards. So uh, since this page is now located in the help name space, uh, we first have to move it uh, or copy it to a place where we want to reuse it. So in my case, I have created a test namespace. And as you know, uh, the namespace uh, after you um, create it is empty. It does not have any content. Uh, and here I want to create a namespace main page. So you would go uh, and you would click on copy. And uh, just in case you're looking for the copy link uh, in 4.2, uh, the copy function isn't activated in the help namespace, but that should change in 4.3. So you will see this uh, copy link here. And then you just have to tell the page where you want to copy it to. So I put it in the test namespace. And I will also name it main page in an English wiki or Hauptseite in a German wiki. Because if a um, namespace has, has such a page, uh, then in the breadcrumb navigation, when you click on the namespace um, pill or the, yeah, that namespace link, you will always uh, go back to this uh, convenient uh, starting page here. Also, what you uh, have to do, uh, you also have to click on copy sub pages because uh, these start pages to uh, work with uh, a lot of sub, not a lot, but all the content that they have uh, is located in sub pages. If you forget to click that um, the first time, you will notice a lot of broken links on your uh, page. In your target namespace, you would then just come back here and recopy um, the template again. So the uh, wiki is now copying uh, this template. And as you see now, we are in the test main uh, test uh, namespace, and we now have a main page created for it. And here you have uh, some different uh, content components. Uh, some of them are templates, uh, like the first one, the banner up here, and the image cards. Uh, and some of these things are simple, simple static um, text. Here we have management announcements. Um, those are a uh, blog. And at the bottom, there's still uh, some tags, like here the um, category cloud. <clears throat> so that's what we put in this template. All of these individual sections of these uh, start page uh, are organized as sub pages of this page. So if you want to edit uh, an individual section, let's say the banner up here. And I can simply select the sub page from this edit drop down, uh, select the banner, and I just open it in a new tab. Um, and then I call, can go into it. And I will see if I double click it, it's the standard banner that we already had for a long time uh, on our help, uh, help desk for download. It is just now um, also included in this template. And here, I just have my uh, template uh, placeholders or parameters uh, where I can easily adjust colors and everything else. So um, I might just um, change the heading here, maybe. Um, okay, now, what do I say? Something like that. And then I can change it. And um, then when I go back to my uh, main space, main page, I then have made a change to that individual component. <clears throat> then uh, the next thing on the page is usually some sort of, um, as we've seen, yeah, in this case, images, but also it could be some icon cards. Uh, that are really convenient to link to other pages, maybe in the namespace or anywhere in the wiki. So I'll do that real quick. This is also a these image cards 
uh, is also a template that's already available on your help on our help desk. And here you just uh, upload images in your wiki and then uh, provide the image names here. Um, so uh, these image cards have a, a start <clears throat> a start template that all uh, that sets some of the settings, the card size and uh, how these cards are organized. We have all this documented on the help desk. And then here you simply um, provide an image name and uh, a label uh, and what uh, page in the wiki you want to link to. So let me just um, add a few images here so it's not so empty. We have three cards here, but you could add more, of course, and the um, size of the cards will shrink a little bit. If you have four or five images, they will adjust uh, to the size here. And again, you save your changes and um, go on like that. Um, so you see it's pretty fast uh, to get uh, some content in here. The, the announcements here is a sub page that has a timeline tag involved. Um, so if you click on it, you will uh, go to the blog page for this uh, specific main page. And when you create a new blog item, um, then you will see that this blog item is uh, automatically associated with this uh, main page here in the test uh, namespace, uh, which means I can filter it then nicely uh, on the uh, main page again. So I post it and then the main page knows to look for this blog post um, and will add, uh, add a link to it here. The events I'm not gonna go to right now, that's pretty much just a, a table, a static table um, that um, you can create or swap out with maybe some semantic content. Uh, all of these things are static, by the way, because we don't know what really is going to be the content here. It's just some yeah, dummy content sometimes to uh, get your uh, creative uh, ideas flowing, so to speak. Uh, but maybe what usually happens here on these overview pages, if you have something like a certain category or department, uh, you probably are uh, organized around that via a namespaces, categories, or uh, properties in the wiki. And then you, you would, of course, uh, automate, what, automate what's shown in here. And in Blue Spice Pro, uh, you would uh, most likely um, put in the source code a little inline query uh, to uh, always have, have this content up to date. I'll just uh, paste it in here. And then <clears throat> you can go to the main page here and you will see the automatically uh, created list uh, for uh, this topic in your wiki. Here also we have included an input box. That's also something we want our customers to know that um, uh, something like input, input box is a mechanism in the wiki um, to create uh, pages and tell them where they live um, and what namespace they go and also to um, add a um, page template uh, already when the page is created. Um, we're using here only elements like input box or the tag cloud or uh, anything um, that is uh, really also suited for, uh, mostly suited for um, Blue Spice Free. Um, then uh, we have here uh, the tag cloud, uh, as I said, um, some wikis don't uh, use a lot of uh, categories maybe, so they might not have uh, a lot of good results. Uh, so what if you want to change uh, anything on the page itself and not just the sub pages, um, then uh, you uh, do need a little bit of um, experience with wiki text because you will have to go uh, again in the source code of the page here. And since this is a portal page, we are, um, are hiding the title area of the page. So you won't have an edit icon for the page itself. So what you do uh, on these portal pages, then you would just click on all actions and edit source. And here you see um, the structure of such a portal page. 
Um, it has its own styles, uh, which you can uh, adjust uh, to your liking, colors, and so on. Um, and then each template, like the banner template or the image cards, they also come with their own styles uh, installed. And then, of course, since you uh, move these pages around and you copy them from the help uh, namespace into different namespaces of your wiki, uh, here are some um, variables that keep track of where this page will be located. And then you simply have um, links or transclusions to all your subpages that you want to have in here. And here's the tag cloud. And for example, if you don't like it, you can simply take it out. Uh, and as you see, when you take it out here, there's always a little leftover. This, these div tags, they come from HTML. And these are simply the containers that determine uh, where um, uh, some content section starts and how it is um, um, shown on the, uh, on the page. So for example, here you have a, a section that goes from sales, production, HR. Uh, to the end here, and it just says to format this section in three columns. If I take one of them out, um, then, uh, and I want uh, those columns to uh, use 50 50 uh, percent of the width of the page, I can change it to call two, and then I'm done. And once I get the principle or the hang of it a little bit, then I, it will be easy to simply add more of these containers and um, combine it with any other regular wiki text, really. It's just a, a basic wiki text, um, uh, wiki page um, that you can organize yourself. And at the end, it always has also this drop down uh, that you should uh, keep there. So it's easy for your uh, editor um, colleagues that don't want to go into the source code here, uh, but that are just maintaining the actual pages themselves, maybe. Um, so they have an easy access to the sub pages here uh, of the page. So uh, when you save it, as you see, I could show it more, but you get the idea. Uh, you need a, a little bit, the more you want to customize it, a little bit of uh, experience maybe in wiki text, but it should nevertheless be a good starting point um, in the future. So um, yeah, to, to get started with such a portal page. Mm -hmm.